word for word of the Holy Quran. <coughs> Tennessee Governor John Sevier records a 1784 encounter in what is now Western North Carolina, 1784, with a dark-skinned, reddish-brown, complexioned people supposed to be of Moorish descent who claimed to be Portuguese. In East Tennessee in late 1700s, Jonathan Swift, Swift and Englishmen employed dark-skinned men who were known as Mecca Indians. Mecca Indians. The information is all there. We didn't come here first as slaves. We came here first as explorers. And the manner of our exploration, brothers and sisters, wasn't to destroy what we saw and to conquer what we saw. It was an even exchange. Whether it was agricultural products, whether it was in language, whether it was in, of course, in Dean. But there was a natural relationship that existed between the Muslims from Africa and the indigenous people in this country. And that's why if you ask many African Americans, somewhere in that tree was a Native American. Somewhere in that tree was a Native American. Somewhere in that tree. Is a native, I'm talking about, I would bet, you know, figure of speech, I would guess that most of us, as African Americans in this room right now, if you look in our past, you will find somewhere a Native American. Somewhere in our past. Grandmother, grandfather, great grandmother, great grandfather, right? Somewhere around that, somewhere around there. Because for us in our generation, our great-grandparents were slaves. For the younger children, it's their great-great-grandparents. For us, it's our great-grandparents. So around that great-great-grandparents uh, range, you'll find a Native American there. Do you know that some of our people in this country, hardcore Christians, got Muslims in their heritage, Islam in their heritage, don't even know it. Don't even know it. But brothers and sisters, this information is clear. And this information is known. I want to end by sharing with you this here. During the rule of Ferdinand the Catholic, the power, the European power that came under like when Western imperialism began, the main power was Spain and Portugal. Why was the main power of Spain and Portugal? Because brothers and sisters getting back to the Moors of Spain, they will teach you this in their schools. During that period, that period is known in Europe as the Dark Ages. The Dark Ages. That's all they say though, they just say the Dark Ages. They don't say where else on the, on the continent things were going on. They don't talk about that part. But they call it the Dark Ages. During the Dark Ages is when the Muslims were controlling Spain. And all of these technological advances were coming out. When the Muslims were kicked out of Spain and the Inquisition was imposed, the reason why Spain and Portugal became the main powers was because they had the technology of the Moors. That's why in the beginning of the slave trade, it was Spain and Portugal. They were the leading imperialists in Europe. Spain and Portugal. They had gotten all that knowledge and used all that knowledge in navigation, in astronomy, in medicine, in technology, irrigation, universities and so on and so forth. They used that technology and they became the main power. So that's why in the early days of slavery, it was Portugal and it was Spain. And then it changed. It changed after a while, you know, Britain made their move and so on and so forth, but it was Portugal and Spain. Now check this out. The Spaniards were the first one to deal with the effects of Muslims coming over here. They were the first ones to deal with it. So Ferdinand the Catholic during the rule of Ferdinand the Catholic in spite of excesses 
against Islam in Spain, some of the Moriscos, the Moriscos were Spanish Muslims. Remember when the Spaniards uh, took Spain, they gave three choices, become Christian, leave or die. That's it. Become Christian, leave or die. You know when they say that we can't, uh, people can't live under us? Remember the Pope said that the Christians in, in Sudan, all 3% of them, the Christian, uh, the Christian South cannot be brought under Islamic rule. Remember the Pope said that? Right? The, the, the Pope, the Catholic Church, that, that, they're, that they're, actually, they're actually deciding on whether or not to apologize for the Inquisition or not. In which millions of people were killed. A large number of them women burned at the stake for being witches or for being Muslim. The Inquisition. Either become Christian, die, or leave. Now, so those Spaniards who were Muslim, who had an Islamic background, were called Moriscos. It is no coincidence that even when Columbus got over here, when they talk about the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria, and so on and so forth, he had Muslim guides with him. Moors, Moors, who were Muslims with him. One of whom founded Nevada, Arizona, and New Mexico was found by a Moriscos, a, a Muslim from Spain. But now, Ferdinand the Catholic, it was noticed the Moriscos who traveled to the Americas as explorers, soldiers, and laborers began practicing their true faith and succeeded in propagating Islam among the Indians. A series of laws were decreed in order to stop the flow of Muslims, free or enslaved to the Americas, and to win back the Muslim native Indians. The Spaniards saw how the indigenous population were becoming Muslims. And in becoming Muslims, they're revolting against the Spaniards. So Ferdinand the Catholic had to institute laws. Do not take the Muslims to the new world. I want to read to you his, um, his letters and then we'll close out, inshallah. This is, from, this is the attitude of the Spanish hierarchy. The king, to our officials who reside in the city of Seville, at the House of Trade in the Indies, in the Indies, the Caribbean. We are informed that because of the increase in the price of Negro slaves in Portugal and in the islands of Guinea and Cape Verde, some merchants and other persons who intend to have them for our Indies have gone or sent to buy Negroes in the islands of Sardina, Majorca, Menorca, and other parts of the Levant in order to send them to our Indies because they say that they are cheaper and because many of the Negroes in those parts of the Levant are of the race of the Moors and other trade with them and since in a new country where at present our holy Catholic faith is being established it is not fitting that people of this quality should go there on account of the difficulties that could come from it I order you